Hey all, because we will be missing each other today, I wanted to just make a quick video to make sure that you had the information that you needed to get started on your first essay assignment. So we are looking at the class Blackboard right now. I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to course content here on the left. And I'm going to go ahead and open assignments here. Um, so assignments, you're going to see a couple of things. One, hopefully you've had the opportunity to open this and take a look at the essay assignment here but then underneath it, you'll also see where it says essay one. I'm gonna actually ask you to submit your essay assignment directly to Blackboard instead of emailing it to me. Um, I will remind you of that later in the week, but this is not due until next Tuesday, so you have a week to complete the assignment. When you do complete it, you will simply click here um, and you will upload the file uh, that you have written. Um, please do not post the link to a Google Doc. Make sure that you are uploading a file that I will be able to open. The reason I'm having you directly upload your essay to Blackboard is because this will enable me to grade it with a rubric. And if you want to familiarize yourself with how I will be grading the essay, I'm providing the rubric to you up front. Um, the, uh, by and large, most of the grade will be based on the content. Uh, so 50% of the grade will be based on the actual ideas and substance um, that you produce or that you put forward. Um, next, organization will make up about 20% how organized the paper is, and then 15% for grammar and MLA format. So you can review this on your own. Okay. While we are on the Blackboard page, let's go ahead and take a look at the assignment itself. And so I'm going to go back over to course content. I'm going to go back over to assignments and I'm going to open the essay one assignment. And that should download for you and you'll be able to take a look at it. All right. So again, hopefully you've had the opportunity to take a look at this, but just to clarify, the assignment is due February 20th, which is Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. So that's a minute shy of midnight. I'm giving you a little bit extra time, um, a few more hours than the syllabus had suggested. Okay, as we've talked about before, your task is going to be to compare two historical fascist states. So they can be Italy and Germany, it can be Italy and Japan, it can be um, Germany and Japan, whatever. I don't want you to spend a whole lot of time discussing the question, what is fascism? However, in an introductory paragraph, it's probably useful to stake out some kind of loose definition that you're going to be working with. From there, I don't want you to compare everything about the two countries or the two fascist states. I want you to just pick maybe one or two related elements that you can compare. So for instance, you might talk about the relationship between fascism and traditional conservatives, or you might trace the idea of fascist masculinity or and femininity in two different states. The key here is that you're providing a robust discussion of these concepts, but also making sure that you are drawing on the material that we studied for specific examples and evidence. Um, I am asking you to include sources in this paper. You must use at least three sources that we've encountered in class. I'm not asking you to do any outside research. So for instance, one source might be in your introduction when you are trying to develop a definition of fascism uh, would be to maybe reference the Clara Zetkin or the Varsica or the Paxton piece. From there, your body paragraphs are going to have the source material that substantiates the claims that you're making about the fascist states that you are writing about. So a kind of thesis for a paper like this might suggest that although um, scholars don't agree on a concrete definition of fascism, um, one thing that has been prevalent in or present in fascist states uh, across examples has been the idea of militarization, right? And my going to look at militarization in Italy and militarization in Japan. And so that is just sort of a brief discussion of the paper assignment. Um, 
If you have any questions, I encourage you to reach out sooner rather than later. Later, I'm happy to talk with you about your ideas and even look at an introduction if that would be helpful.